Hi guys, Charmion here from Food by Charmion. I am going to do a baked donut demo for you guys. Right for that you will need, I'm just going to call out the uh, ingredients, measured ingredients. Always use a measuring set. You all know I always, always say that. Everything that's there on my setup, it's pre-measured. You don't ever want to use regular stuff, cups and bowls and so forth to measure when you are baking. Baking is a science or a formula one off move and it's rapid descent it's downhill at a pace that's alarming so you always want to be safe and use only baking or measure utensils when you are baking i can't stress that enough for you guys you all know i come and when i come on here it's not about me being fancy and so forth it's about me being able to teach you all so that you all can go do what i do and get the same results that is why i go in depth and explain in a great amount of detail so this is the measuring sets that you will need for that. This is the, uh, the cup set and this is my spoon set. I just need to show you all, I'm gonna call out what you will need now. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of all-purpose flour, two eggs, two teaspoons of baking powder, half teaspoon of cinnamon ground cinnamon or cinnamon powder as it is known here in trinidad and tobago half teaspoon of nutmeg powder also you can grate it freshly one teaspoon of sea salt you will need half cup of sugar and three quarter cup Okay, so the three quarter cup of sugar that you will need is if you are rolling your donuts in sugar and cinnamon. I am not going to take that step. I am going to do a glaze. As we get to that part, I don't want to jump all about because I don't like to confuse you all. So bear with me. As we get to the part of the glaze, I will show you guys what I'm going to do. But the additional sugar that I called out, you can't omit that if you are going to follow and make a glaze like I will do coming down to the end of this demo. So remember that three quarter cup of white sugar, you will only need that if you are going to make a cinnamon glaze. You will need also for that cinnamon, not glaze, uh, sugar. You will need also for that same glaze I'm speaking about when your donut is finished baking. You just put your sugar, get a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, you get your regular white sugar, you combine the two and you roll your donuts in there when it's cool. But I am not gonna take that route. I think I explained that properly enough for you all to understand what I just said and you will also need three quarter cup of milk so so for recap i'm going over again what you will need you will need two cups of all-purpose flour sifted flour you will need two teaspoons of baking powder you will need half teaspoon of ground cinnamon you will need two eggs you will need one teaspoon of sea salt and you will need a half cup of sugar white sugar as it is known here in trinidad and tobago or granulated sugar you will also need two tablespoons of canola oil if you don't have canola it's okay use vegetable oil understood and three quarter cup of milk in trinidad here we get whole milk and we get half and half and all these things but for baking i always prefer evaporated milk but because my international friends, they don't know about using evaporated milk to bake and all of that. So what they will use is their whole milk, right? So I am using what we know here in Trinidad and Tobago as UHT. Full cream, please, when you are baking. Because the, uh, the low-fat versions contains a lot more water. So you won't get a lot more, a lot of milk in it. It's reduced greatly. This is just a vintage milk bottle. Look for the brand of milk that you so desire or you are comfortable using. It's just a, just a vintage milk bottle. Having said and explained all of that in detail, I wanna move on. I wanna tell you all that a lot of times if you are doing baking and the recipe calls for yeast, and I didn't mention, so I'm glad I'm there. I am using one packet of yeast, which is always equivalent to one tablespoon if you measure it so it's just my ceramic tasting spoon there i already have my yeast proofing i was going to say if you ever if you are ever following a recipe any one recipe and they don't tell you this wherever yeast is involved you need to always uh use a certain temperature liquid 
So what's going on here is I'm just proofing the yeast. It's just a fancy name for put, putting yeast to set in warm liquid with a bit of sugar. So because this recipe contains sugar, um, yeast, I'm using sugar. Well, you all heard when I call it sugar, so you just get a little bit in there because yeast feeds off of sugar, right? I explained that well enough, I believe. Uh, another tip also, I want to point on something else out to you guys, but in any event, just always proof your yeast. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't go add an extra water. Just if they ask for half cup of water, let's say, or, or, or so in your recipe, just simply use a bit from that same half cup to proof your yeast. So we are moving on. Very easy uh, recipe. It can't be messed up whatsoever. You all know I always sift my flour, right? So I'm getting my flour straight into my sifter. Remember, I call out all the ingredients, okay? I just want to make mention, I have a lot of loyal supporters. I just want to make, this is my sifter. If you don't have it, use a traditional sieve or hand and strainer as it is known here in Trinidad and Tobago. I want to make mention of one supporter. Uh, the supporter gave me permission. She would like for me to call her name on all my demos. So I want to mention her on this demo. Hi Julie, thank you for all your amazing love, support, encouragement, well wishes, everything. I appreciate you. I appreciate all my other subscribers and supporters and fans. Since this is a, a demo that uh, you know, children will appreciate and love, this is why I sift my stuff. That would have been in your dough or batter, believe it. So this is why I always sift it makes it light and airy. As it's a donut geared towards kids, I want to just, I have a amazing four-year-old supporter, Sahara. Hi Sahara, I love you. You know I love you. I really do love you. So I am, uh, I am going to move on now. This won't have to go in any order. And I want to say you don't need any special machines for this. What you will need is baking donut pans. I will show you as you progress. So I already have that in there. You all know how I do things. So I'm going to add my my baking powder remember it's measured always use your dry ingredients first i don't want too much of this a next note if you are using ground sp uh, spices and so forth it's going to change the color of your dough so if you want your donuts more clear because i'm going to do the glaze for it stay clear of using the cinnamon and all of that it's going to change the texture and color of your dough a great deal i'm just going to add so always start by combining all your dry ingredients and then you go to your wet Just a pinch of salt. I'm using my Stonewall Kitchen brand main sea salt. It's the most amazing salt I ever came across. I got it at the specialty gourmet gluten free store in West Trinidad, Brook Foods. So I was saying about the yeast. I'm just going back there a bit because I'm making conversation with you guys because I'm I'm, I'm mixing. What happened with the yeast is it um if the water is too hot it kills the yeast and if it's too cold it don't activate the yeast whatsoever so i am just going to get my eggs in there i'm just going to get my eggs straight down in there as at, at the moment straight into my uh my bowl right you know, in Trinidad, we do a lot of stuff that they don't do internationally. A lot, a lot of stuff. When I tell you a lot of stuff, in Trinidad, we clean the eggs internationally. If you just happen to get a kick at any person cooking, you won't see them doing those kind of crazy stuff. Those are, those are Caribbean things. That isn't very necessary in the culinary world. And you want me to be honest with you all like I always do? In a commercial setting and kitchen, you don't have time for that. To clean the sand and clean any egg. It's, it's peace. Literal peace. You don't have time for things like those when you are cooking on the scale like these guys do. So it's really more about, you know, saving time and, you know, using wisdom all at once. So you all saw when I mix in the, the combine my dry ingredients with my spatula, right? A next quick tip when you are working with when you are working with spatulas as much as I do, it cuts down on the noise on the demo. That's why you all don't hear much feedback. Spoons cause a, a lot of noise when you are doing demos. If you use spatulas as much as I do, reserve some for your desserts only. This one is used strictly for desserts. 
right so i'm going to now get my wet ingredients into there since I already have all the dry ingredients in there right so i'm going to start by adding my two eggs followed by my oil i have a it in a measuring a measuring glass that i have here you see it's exactly on two you don't go over when you are doing big things I have some premium some premium vanilla um, extra really premium so I'm gonna get it directly in there a teaspoon I'm going to now get in my poofies I will be using my cake mixer handle cake mixer today you don't need that or any special attachments like I said okay when I made this couple times, I use my spatula, believe it or not. This is not the first time that I'm covering this demo. Let me get the sugar in there. I have this demo up, but I stream live on my Facebook account, so it's in parts, and I could not have gotten it onto YouTube, of course, so I am doing it over for this purpose. And I'm just going to add a bit more milk, because remember, I will use some just to proof, right? I'm going to get my device on now, my, my handles. Cake okay, mixer, you won't be hearing me whatsoever. It makes no sense I'm speaking when the machine is on. You won't be hearing me or you won't be hearing me properly. And it's that easy to get this this in. Really, really easy. Super easy. I'm just going to get it mixing on a slow speed first. So I'm going to add some more milk. Remember, I always tell you all that you can always add, you can take away. So that is why I started with little milk, okay? Right. So, about that is what I want to do. Uh, this recipe it can be made without the yeast the yeast is my addition to it, uh, or to it if you don't use I'm gonna put a little bit more milk if you don't use just a bit more if you don't use the yeast it can be made with all these as I was saying if you don't use the yeast it won't it won't be of the same texture so the yeast makes it very nice and soft the baking powder doesn't do much justice whatsoever. So there is where I'm going to leave it. Remember, I told you all you do not need this machine. That I am using. I made it already a couple times without any electronic gadgets or machines and it was perfect. So now I have to get it into a piping bag. I'm gonna bring the uh, donut. I'm, go I'm gonna just remove my arm, um, my attachments from my machine so that I can show you that you only do not uh the baking donut pans this is what they look like you should be able to get it to purchase if you live locally at any specialty store and of course it has different sizes this is more like a medium size it's not too small it's not large give it a good spray even though it's not safe because you don't want your donut thick enough it might look like a lot it is not too much You can do whichever variation on taste and so forth that you want. I am just going to get things into my uh, into my piping bag. It's it makes for easy maneuvering. If you don't have a piping bag, do not make that a problem. Go ahead and use your Go ahead and use your uh, spatula or whatever you can get. But it's highly recommended to go by faster that you have a piping bag. A regular, what I'm saying piping bag, probably you know it as a icing bag or so. 
or pastry bag because it's multi-use a lot of times with these things, okay? You don't need a nozzle on it. So I'm just gonna fold it down a bit and get some of the batter in there. And this this amount, this this recipe, the measurement goes a long way. You can get a lot of donuts out of just this. You don't have to double up to get a lot. But remember, keep in mind this is a big donut recipe, okay? If you have, if you live internationally or even locally here and you can access vanilla, go ahead and get and use it. Vanilla beans. Go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna get it straight into my pipe, my 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 uh, donut pan. And it's as easy as that. So I won't have you all stay watching me do all of this. I'm just showing you all technique quickly, and you know, I'm gonna present final product. You know, you all know I don't speak on baking time, and what you want to make sure is that the center is clean, okay? So, like, I will have to go back to make sure, you know, just around here is clean because you want to bake to perfection in formation, in its form. You all know I don't speak on time and so forth of oven. That will vary by a lot of things, by the age and model of your oven, and whether it's gas or electric, and a lot of persons have a lot of high-tech machine uh, ovens be a convection ovens and so forth so that will vary what i always say and suggest is you don't ever put nothing to the lower rack of your oven the floor of your oven and you don't ever leave put anything to bake and walk away you always want to monitor it so that's your but like if you want me to if you still might want to know settings what i will recommend go medium on your oven whatever is the medium on your oven you go with that so keep watching as i bring this together for you all so guys, our donuts, big donuts, they are finished baking. This is what it looks like. I'm going to just get it out. You always want to use a cooling rack to cool any baked goods. So I'm just going to get it out. Like I said, somewhat supportive because it comes out crazy. And you see what the underneath part looks like? And the yeast have it really soft and nice. If you did not put the yeast, you would not have, have such soft donuts. So please don't forget that crucial step. I'm gonna just show you guys how soft it is with this one. This is why I love the yeast, the addition of the yeast with it. So I'm getting straight into, I know I said I was not going to show you guys, leave it to cool for about five minutes. I know I said I was not going to show you guys how to do the cinnamon sugar for to roll the donuts in. But I will show you guys because I know it's going to come up as a question and I always say some persons are visual learners. So I'm going to get this away from here now. I'm just, I just want you all to focus on my setup. I just need you all to focus on my setup here for my, for my cinnamon glaze. I'm about to just put it together. It takes less than a minute to put that uh, cinnamon sugar together to get the donuts in. I will suggest that you let it cool for about a couple of minutes before you you get your donuts in your cinnamon sugar. Regular granulated sugar or white sugar as it is known here in Trinidad and Tobago and some ground or powdered cinnamon. That is on you. I'm not going to call up Benjamin because how much ever donuts you make, you will know how much you need. So it's going to go straight into here. It don't, it don't need to be uh, cooked or any such thing. And I'm just going to give it a good toss. And of course, it gets the sugar very discolored, very dark. Because remember what it is, okay? Cinnamon, sugar. You just want to use a fork to get everything combined nicely. You know, cinnamon has this really lovely fragrance to it, right? A lot of persons love it. There's a lot of health benefits to cinnamon, to using cinnamon. I'm just going to get a couple down in there now and I'm going to stack about three onto my tasting plate. You won't believe it's this easy to get big donuts together, right? So like I said, it's this easy. You all won't believe how easy it is to put a big donut together. You all see, saw the texture of what we have and how soft they are, right? So I'm finished making my cinnamon uh, sugar. I'm going to move on now to do a glaze. This is some confectioner's sugar, icing sugar, as it is known here in uh, Trinidad. 
I am just going to start by now setting up to make my uh, my glaze. I won't say it's an icing, it's a glaze because it's more sheer than icing itself, okay? More frosting. And you don't really see frosting and, and so forth on uh, I, on donuts, sorry. So this will vary by you again, right? So I'm not calling out how much. This is about actually two cups, I will say, if I was to say, right? Exactly two cups on average day. Uh, when we made I say back in the day in Trinidad we use eggs no it's not necessary it's not necessary at all so I'm gonna start by adding some premium vanilla extract and then I'm gonna add a few uh, spoons of milk I'm gonna average the milk of course So not much. About there, we're gonna start, and we can always go if we need to, right? I'm using my. Listen, this is so tricky. So before I even start to go, you all wouldn't believe what has happened when you use icing, uh, confectioner sugar and so forth in these things right the kitchen is always a mess with whatever it's on so you realize i'm helping it along before i turn on the machine right if i don't do this listen to me you all might not even be able to see anything but a white cloud no i kid you all not i'm not being comedic it's it is it, the truth so if i didn't do that you would have just see a white cloud you'll be thinking what just went on there so you see why I have to incorporate it first. You all should take that tip too. I have a, I have this tool. I have it quite a while now, but you can look for it. I know it's sold internationally also, where you are uh, to get your to not have those splatters until when you are using your cake machines and such. You just put it on over your. Just a sec. I had to just remove the attachment really quick. So, it's this tool, and you can use it also to prevent that, what I was just speaking about. So, I'm just going to demonstrate. I will block you all out, right? So, it fits over any uh, machine, as I was saying. I'm just going to add a few... Uh, drops more of the milk. I'm using uh, whole milk or full cream UHD for my Trinidad fellow Trinidadians. If you have evaporated milk, by all means, you can use it. So, a little more milk is needed. Or let's just watch and see, okay? Don't be too quick to add your liquid. You don't need a machine to do this work either. You can use just a regular spatula, okay? Or whisk if you have. So I'm going to add just a bit more milk. And I'll go for a couple seconds and then that's it for our glaze. The vanilla, I speak on it time and time again. You see the color of my glaze, it's not white, pure white, right? You know why? The vanilla turned it discolored somewhat. I buy my essence, a lot of them at the essence house. So always ask for clear essence once you once you can at your essence houses. My fellow Trinidad, you know what I'm referring to when I say that. If you live internationally, gravitate towards your clear vanilla extracts for your white cookie doughs and white bath cake batters and things like that. I did not want to block you all out, but I want you all to see also, so I had to, you know, keep the shield on because we'll have a white cloud of nothing. So I had to keep it on for that purpose. I am now going to set back up to do the glaze. I will start by first doing my cinema. So like I said, I'm starting first by 
are showing you all the cinnamon how to get your uh, donut covered in your cinnamon sugar okay you wanna work quick let me just show you guys the texture of our uh, this is the texture of our glaze you don't want it thinner than this because it's not going to stay at all you don't want it more runny than that so just let me start by if you don't if you don't get something somewhat onto this it, it won't be it should be more shape for this right if you don't get something onto this as an adhesive it's going to give you a lot of problems to stay put your cinnamon sugar that is so if you want be it melted butter or whatever but I just don't want that buttery taste on there so I'm trying to stay clear of that so I'm just going to um, to get it on and that's just one done I'm only gonna do one with the cinnamon sugar but in reality the melted butter or some uh, gelatin and flavor gelatin it's gonna be great for that if you don't know how to uh, how to get on flavor gelatin uh, prepared on one of my demos I, I can't remember which one I showed how that is done I did show how it's done so these are my toppings for my in any event let me explain how unflavored gelatin is prepared because it will come up as a question you get a little bit of water going and you get your unflavored gelatin and you put some warm water like I said in it and about a tablespoon of sugar depending on what you want it for and you go from there and it's that easy You just want to make sure your glaze is on properly on every you don't want to glaze the entire thing but you want to make sure all your edges and everything huh I know you all understood what I said so I won't uh, delay and explain anything anymore so you get it there please a quick tip use your use parchment paper to protect your counter from the excess runoff of your donuts you see how I have my own lineup, right? It's going to make for easier cleaner because you just discard up the uh, parchment when you are done. So you all see what I'm doing, right? And that's why I didn't go too, too, too share with it. And then you use whichever toppings you like. I have uh, two different sprinkles and uh, coconut, sweetened coconut to use as topping. So let me just get some sprinkles onto there. You see my sprinkles, right? They're so, they are so gorgeous. It's not even funny. And this is what really makes the donut, the donut, you know. The, the sprinkles is what gives it all its beauty. So whichever sprinkles you so desire, you use it. I like, I happen to like these longer ones on donuts. Kind of confetti looking ones. They are just the most gorgeous thing you will ever see and it's healthy cons compared to traditional donuts because traditional donuts they are fried and not baked so you want to put on your sprinkle as soon as you get your icing or your uh, your glaze on because it's going to harden up somewhat okay if you want to get creative and add a mixture of both why not get this is the time we want to probably get the kids involved to help you do some of this okay you can use whichever color you so desire yeah my counter is a mess with the sprinkles it happens these are if you don't like mess and you don't want to do these kind of jobs it kind of do something to your brain this one i'm going to put a topping of the sweet and coconuts that we spoke about if you want this color just simply use some gel food coloring or powder on your coconuts and have it go that's all you have to do you can also use chopped maracino cherries and he likes uh chocolate colored sprinkles listen is whatever you want you go with it it's just about creativity at this part once you get your baking part you know properly done that's all you need you don't need you don't need to fuss too much about things like these they are just gorgeous right i know 
they are beautiful, like really, really beautiful. I'm gonna do a chocolate sprinkle one for you guys to see also. They are beautiful beyond words. I'm gonna cut into one for you all to see the texture that we have. But remember, if you just want that cinnamon uh, glaze, remember what I said, you can use butter. I won't really like the taste of the butter on there, so I will suggest very highly or recommend that you go with the unflavored gelatin. So those are our chocolate sprinkles. You see how handy that apartment came in under there, right? Yeah, I know you wanna see how handy it's coming in. Just to take it up and throw it away once I'm done here. And then I'm gonna do one with only straight up chocolate and I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna conclude the demo. You know, some persons might look for a different technique to do this all together, but it's working just fine for me. Just get the excess off. And that's all. Cover the, 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 uh, <laughs> the counter is just an absolute mess with sprinkles and everything else. I won't have it any other way. Guys, the pleasure was my own. You all know, food by Charmion, we are all over social media. Let me cut into it for you all to see the text here. We are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. We also have a YouTube channel all under, we are all under one name, food by Charmion. If you want to come into direct contact with me, send me an email on email address foodbyshamion at gmail.com there's a website for the business our website address is www.foodbyshamion.com let me just cut in to show you guys the gorgeousness that we have and remember it isn't fried so we have we can't we won't feel too guilty about it those of us that watch everything that we consume that is the texture of the inside of our donuts. I just want to get it on, stuck onto a tasting plate. And I'm done. I thank you all so very much for all your continued love, support, encouragement, well wishes, everything. I really, really thank you all. It, mean, it means more to me than you all will ever understand or know. So I'm just moving back over to my area here. Um, that's it. All right, guys. Bye.